Okay, who wants to paint some filla flowers? These are almost like something you would put in the background if it was just being a little abstract. Um, maybe in the background, if you noticed on my villages, I have some window boxes up high. I'm just mixing up a little bit of brown. All right, and I'm gonna pretend that we're drawing in a window box here. So I'm just gonna make a big rectangle with these different color browns. I have some burnt sienna, I have some burnt umber, and I have some fawn, light fawn. It doesn't matter if my window box is perfect or not, and I'll show you why, because we're gonna cover it with a bit of florals. And that is the point of this, not the box or the rectangle. All right, so I'm gonna get a very small flat brush about a number, I don't know, number two in this one. But um, don't forget, brushes, a number two in a folk art is not a number two in a prince, is not a number two in an artist loft. So I would say this one's about an eighth of an inch wide. Okay. I have my two greens here. I have a light green and a dark green. And I'm just going to start messily, once I'm trailing down, making these crisscrosses in the greens to make some background foliage. I'm using this little tiny brush. I'm just making crisscrosses. Some of it is gonna trail down on the ends going right across the top. This is the background to our flower box. You don't want the edges to be perfect. You want a variation of greens. I'm just doing every which way. Oh, spilled some there. I can have it come trailing off. Pick up some light to add some light tones in there. You can have a little bit down here in the middle. Okay, and that's just basically the background to what's gonna be some florals. Okay, and then you can do your florals any color you want. In this case, I'm going to do them yellow because I happen to have out some yellow. But you can do your flowers whatever color you want. Okay, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to pick up some yellow. And I'm going to pick up a little bit of white on the corner. So yellow and white. And I'm just tapping in. And these are very abstract background fillers. I'm doing them in taps of three. They're all different sizes. They don't have to be perfect. You can have your window box be as floral or as green as you want it. And this is just an abstract background. Maybe you have a building or an arbor a gate, and you just want to have some florals in the background. Sometimes I'm picking up more white. I didn't even let it dry, so my green is cutting mixed up in there too, and it's all okay. And I'm usually doing clusters of three. You can see I'm turning my brush all different ways. having it trail down off this. And here we have a nice little window box, a background for our art. And there you go.